Frankencart, you beast. Looking good out here. I got parts for you. What's up guys? Welcome back to Death by Boost. Today, we just have a little bit of a tech video. So, I've got a pressure cl clutch switch now instead of the switch that I have on the clutch pedal. That guy right there. It's been a little bit of an issue for me trying to get it adjusted just the way I need it. Um, I about hurt the clutch last time I, well, in one of the last videos I showed you guys. So, I'm going to try this guy out. I'm just going to tee it in line with the uh, clutch line, pretty simple, and then just wire it in. And I'll also show you a couple things on the Holly Terminator system on how to program this in. It's already programmed, but I'll just go over it to make a little bit more of a tech video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tee it in right there next to that blue fitting, and that is on the transmission side of this circuit. Um, this is the clutch control valve that I installed in a previous video. I'll put the link above um, so you can find out more about that guy. So I'm going to go ahead and install this real quick. Got it installed there. Now I gotta do is just bleed the clutch and hook up these wires to these guys here. So, got it all wired in. This is the old clutch switch here. So, get rid of that thing. Don't need that no more. Um, this white wire here connects to the ECU, uh, which connects this blue wire, which used to come from this switch. And then the other wire connects to chassis ground. So, I'm gonna bleed this real quick. And then we'll jump into how to program this into the Terminator X. All right. So I'm going to show you how to how I bleed brakes or clutch, you name it, to make your life a lot easier. So first, you need to hook a little vacuum line up to the bleeder and put it into a old container here. Nice clean container because you want to reuse the fluid if it's still good, which in, ca in this case it is. So, first you want to crack this guy open, just like that, and then head over here, and sometimes you may have to do this with two people, um, I'm kind of lucky this pedal actually will stay down, so just go ahead and push it down, so, and then come over here, and shut the valve, and then go back over here, lots of back and forth. And pull this guy up nice and slow. So what it's going to do is it's going to draw brake fluid from there, fill this guy back up. I usually wait a couple seconds just to make sure. And then come back over here. And crack that guy open. And repeat until you get all the air out of the system. And then with my setup, since I got this valve here, the fluid right now is actually going through this valve, bypassing this. So I'm actually going to have to turn the car on. I don't have to start it, but I got to energize this to shut the valve and then force the fluid around this guy in case there's any air up here. 
So, I mean, all we did was disconnect it down there, but it could have drained out oil from up here too. So, gotta make sure we get all the air out. Give that pedal a nice feel. All right. So, got everything done. Um, after I got done bleeding everything, I went ahead and held my foot on the clutch and checked underneath all the fittings with my fingers to make sure there's any leaks. I did have one leak, so I just had to tighten it up a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna mess with the computer now. So, gonna make sure the car's on, plug that guy into the harness, and then we're gonna download from ECM. So right now it's just pulling everything off the ECM. All right, close. So I'm just gonna go from the beginning on how to set this up. So you wanna go to input outputs, um, input. So I created this, you just, I called it clutch switch type. So it's grounding. So when the switch is closed, it goes to ground. And then you click the box to enable. Um, oh, and then pin mapping, sorry. So pin mapping first. So inputs, there's the clutch switch again. Um, let's go ahead. The, the rev limit and clutch switch will be up here. What you do is you just drag and drop them into here in the in, input three or two, geez. And then got to match your pin number of what's coming out of the ECU. And once you're done with that, then you do this part. And then I believe it's under spark. Yeah, rev limiters. Okay. So main rev limiter. So this is the main one. I'm not putting, doing any input. This is what the engine is going to only rev to. And then second rev limit. So when I hit that switch, it's going to go to this rev limit here. And then that's it for that. And you got to select this as ground. And then what I did for my two-step video and to make boost is I made a advanced IFC right here. So timing offset, and I call this boost builder, timing offset, and then the X axis is boost. And then the switch is, it's enabled by a switch. So I selected the switch right here. And when that switch is enabled, it enables it. And then, and I also want it only to be active when the throttle is pushed beyond 75%. So that way it doesn't interfere any other time. So for that video, I was a little crazy here. So we're going to go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. That's a little drastic for real world. I'll have to play around with this some more when I actually go racing, but this will, this will get nice and close for what I need. And then once you're done, send to the ECU. Boom, done, that's it. Very simple. Right on guys, well I'm gonna end it off there. Thanks for watching. Um, we are selling shirts now, not hoodies at the moment until we sell the shirts. So come buy some shirts so then we can restock and get some hoodies um, on hand. Um, but thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. And come back for more next time.